THC products could be banned from gas stations and some restaurants and bars, and all it takes is Governor Landry's signature. And the bill, which received final passage an hour before the regular session came to a close, also limits the potency of the product and tightens up regulations. Ashland Brothers reports. We're considering this a win. It's not a total win by any means. Coming to a compromise. Neither side likes this compromise. The multi-billion dollar hemp industry is no longer in limbo waiting on the Louisiana legislature to make up its mind. Making sure we do our best to keep it away from children was the right thing to do. And I definitely think this legislation pulls back on the industry, slows it down, adds more regulations and it's for one year. House Bill 952 is headed to Governor Jeff Landry's desk. CEO of Crescent Canna Joe Garrity is relieved. This is about as good as we could have done. With the measure comes increased testing of THC products and a 21 and up age requirement. The proposed law puts THC products behind the counter and outlaws them at gas stations which were given until January 1st to sell off their inventory. Restaurants and bars already selling the products will be grandfathered in, but no new licenses will be distributed. I think it's a little short-sighted. Um, obviously, there's a huge demand for this product. It's a great alternative to anyone who does not want to drink alcohol but still wants to hang out and just kind of sip on something. Tipitina's general manager, Brian Greenberg, says Crescent 9 is their fourth best-selling canned drink. He says if keeping the product away from kids is a main concern, you can't even enter Tipitina's without getting your ID checked. It seems like it is safest behind a bar like Tipitina's. The bill will also reduce the portion sizes allowed. Greenberg says smaller serving sizes at a lower potency is actually preferred. A can that has 50 milligrams of Delta 9 THC, that's not the sort of thing that we would want to carry or want our, our customers to be consuming kind of out and about because that's strong. It will go from 8 milligrams per serving to 5 milligrams and no more than 40 milligrams per package. If signed into law, Garrity will begin making changes to his packaging and labels. It's definitely frustrating because this state should be working to improve the industry, not make it harder and harder to do business here. Meanwhile, his 12 packs, high potency products, and the majority of gummies they sell will become illegal. But Garrity says it's better than the once proposed statewide ban. This is the most heavily lobbied issue this entire legislative session. And they found out that what they were trying to do was wildly unpopular. And they're going to find that out even more next time when they try to pick this battle again. Now, the bill limits drinks to a single serving size and no more than four cans or bottles could be sold together. Legislators did point out while the servings are smaller and limited, the proposed law doesn't stop people from buying multiple packages or cases.